Here I'm going to show you how to make another advanced plot that's particularly useful for physics, and that's a 3D vector field or a stream plot. This is particularly useful, again, when you're thinking about three-dimensional vector fields. So e &M comes to mind where you might want to plot a three-dimensional uh, vector, like the electric field around points or a particular object, K. Okay. So um, in this case, I'll just do an example for the vector electric field. So here I have a two-dimensional vector electric field expression. Okay, so basically it's saying the electric field at a particular X and Y position in two-dimensional space is given by this uh, expression, which gives you the length of the vector in the X direction and the length of the vector in the Y direction. Okay, and of course you can notice the length of the vector in each direction depends on the position X and Y. Okay, so if I want to visualize this vector, okay, I can use vector plot, okay, if it's two-dimensional, or vector plot 3D if it's three-dimensional, okay. So if I look down here, the syntax for that is this. Again, vector plot is my built-in function. I know it's built in. When I type it, it's black, so it's uh, Mathematica recognizes it, and if I hover over it, I should be able to get that information stuff to come up. Notice here, uh, it is expecting a list, okay, and in this case, a two-dimensional list or a list with two items. It's a list because it's in curly brackets here, okay. My list uh, is a function of x and y. Those are the two things that I'm going to give it the range of afterwards, okay. So notice I get a comma, and then I get the range of x in curly brackets, the range of y in curly brackets, okay. And this vector points is a lot like plot points, which I showed you guys in the contour uh, video. I can show you what happens when I change that. But here, when I run it, I get um, arrows here that are giving me the length of the arrow is giving me the magnitude of the electric field and the direction of the arrow is giving me the direction of the electric field at 10 points uh, within my range, okay? And it's not 10 points total but it's 10 points in each direction. So it's 10 points across here and 10 points across here. So that is equal to 100 points total uh, across my range, okay? I can change that to change the look of the plot. So that's just five. And you can see in that way, because I'm drawing fewer arrows, that actually changes the way the arrows are scaled. They're scaled so that they don't overlap with one another on the plot, okay? So by having less arrows, that allows the arrows to be a little bit longer near the center here, and then that means they're long enough to see better uh, as I get further away from the origin, okay? But that's kind of up to you, what you want your plot to look like. It might, depending on what your plotting look like, with better with more vector points or less, okay? But that's, usually want to specify that in there uh, so you can, again, change the look of your plot, okay? Um, Maybe I'll bounce down here, or no, I'll go here. Okay, so this is a little bit, again, for this particular example especially, it's kind of hard to see these vectors that are far away from the origin because the magnitude is so much smaller of the electric field is so much smaller uh, compared to what it is near the origin. So the, the arrows get very short and they're hard to see. So another way to avoid that is just to use stream plot instead of vector plot. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and run that. Notice that, um, Stream plot doesn't use the vector points option, so it just uh, has a default number of arrows that it draws. And it also is only giving the direction of the electric field and not the magnitude. So all of these arrows have uh, the same length. So it doesn't give me magnitude information, but it does give me direction information. There is a way to overlay this type of plot on top of a contour or density plot, and that's a good way to combine uh, a graph that shows both direction and um, the magnitude in a way that's easier to see than this plot. Okay, vector plot 3D works a lot like vector plot. It just allows you to visualize um, a three-dimensional function. So notice the differences here. This is a three-dimensional vector, so I'm giving it a list of three values that are specifying the length of the vector in the x, y, and z direction. Okay, I have to give it a three-dimensional range then, so what the range I want in those three dimensions. And then I have the same 
uh, option of vector points. Okay, notice that just gives me a cube of data here where uh, I can see what the vector field looks like in three dimensions. Again, I can right click on this and save it. I can click and drag to see different uh, perspectives. I can go down here if I wanna change uh, the look of it before I save it, okay? So that's again, there's a lot more stuff you can do with this, but this is a basic uh, intro to vector plots in Mathematica.